Hi, my name is Delaine Padilla, and today I'm going to share with you pattern number three of my Centangle pattern collection. I am not a certified Centangle teacher, but I do love this technique. Um, this pattern name is Surf Up, as you can see here, and it's a really, really easy pattern. To start with this pattern, we're just going to need to draw two parallel curve lines. I'm just going to show you. We're going to draw it like so. And we're going to repeat this for the step number two. And now we're going to draw kind of a curvy, wavy line between the two previous lines. Step number three, we're going to repeat everything. And now we're going to draw like uh, parallel lines or echo lines to the lines we just did. We're going to kind of repeat the same lines. We're going to do this in the upper side, right here and right here. Here we're going to imagine how the line will, will go and I'm just going to give it a little bit of curve like so. And for this step, we're going to repeat everything we just did. The parallel lines and everything. And now we're going to do more or less the same down here, but in the opposite side. We're going to try to repeat this line that we have here. I'm going to draw kind of an echo of that line. Here we have the pattern almost done. We have the two lines that we started with. We have the wavy line in the center, this step here. And we have all the parallel, all the lines, like the echo lines here in the upper side and down here as well. Now between the lines, we're going to draw a small line like so. This is um, to give it a little bit of, let's say, shadow. And this helps with the shadows that we're going to incorporate later. Now I'm going to draw um, the complete pattern so you can see the whole effect. We're, I'm just repeating everything again the wavy line in the center. Now um, the echo lines. I call them echo lines because it's like repeating, repeating the line over and over. And we're going to do the same here but in the opposite side. Like so. Um, and of course the little lines between the longer lines here and down here too. And now with a graphite pencil, I'm going to draw some shadows. I'm just gonna put some shadows in where, like here, just to give it a little bit of, um, like kind of a 3D effect to the pattern. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of graphite here and a little bit of graphite here. And just a little bit. This is a 6B graphite pencil I'm using. And here. Now I'm going to blend this graphite just to give it it just to give it a little bit of more you know like shadowy look to it. And now to finish with the effect, um, I'm going to use a white color pencil to draw some lines and this will give a, a sort of a highlight effect. 
and it will accentuate the 3D effect I want to give this pattern. And because I'm not using white paper, this effect um, turns out really good with the white color pencil. Just simple lines between the lines that I draw in before. To finish it up, I'm just going to put my initials here. And here you have the step-by-step -step of the pattern. It's a really simple pattern and I really like it. Right now, I'm going to make a drawing using this pattern. Um, I already have a little sketch here. And I'm going to use this pattern to incorporate it to my drawing. It's a face that I have sketched here. And I hope you like the end result. Let's begin. And this is the final drawing. A little face and I use the pattern to draw the hair. You can see. And I did the highlights and the shadows. And well, this is it. I hope you like it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll come back soon with another Centangle pattern. If you have any questions or requests, please feel free to comment and I will happily answer you. So, bye!